Hello, 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 Lola's. So I'm here with baby Taraji. I don't know if you guys remember Taraji. Taraji don't get shown that much. She is my big girl. And you see Joey peeking around the corner. He refused to not be a part of the video, I guess. Anytime Taraji is present, he feel like he needs to be present, <laughs> I guess, or whatever. So before I get started, of course, you guys know I have to do my little spill. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Follow me on Serenity underscore Smith on Instagram. Um, follow my vlog at MissSerenitySmithBabies.com. I am considering doing a true real website this year. Not sure if I really will. I don't think I do enough business to really do a website website just yet, but I'm thinking about it um, where it just be strictly not vlogging, but just strictly for where I'll just list my babies for sale. Thinking about that idea um, versus having to go to platform to platform to platform to platform um and just put like buy it now buttons there i don't know just something to think about um i know a lot of other artists have their websites and they have like the buy it now and you can just click and buy um might be a little bit easier for me being that um you know i don't know what i'm gonna do moving forward as far as how active i will be in the community you know um as you guys see i've been uploading like a whole bunch of just chatting videos chatting videos i've ha i have a backlog of chatting videos that i've never uploaded so i've just been dropping them dropping them dropping them dropping them dropping them just getting them out um and then i'll you know probably won't have anything to upload after a while but um so that's that's some of the things that's been going on. Um, a lot of people message me and like to ask me like what I'm working on next and all that and stuff. I used to have fun doing that and sharing what I'm working on next. I learned that that becomes more of a disadvantage than an advantage for me. So I am no longer really like laying out every step of what I'm doing behind the scenes. Um, as I have babies available, I will post them um, on, you know, my paid channel membership, which you can join. It's, I call it the Chatterbox. Um, the link is in the description bar. It is $1.99 to join, and you do have to be at least 18 years old to join. Um, I will continue to post there, continue to post um, to Facebook and Instagram for now. Um, once they are truly available. Um, I don't know moving forward how many ball babies I will have available. Um, that might be something that may be very few and far in between as I'm starting to see that most people really prefer to have babies with hair and, um, it's actually, uh, better for me to sell them with hair to be honest um as far as business wise profit wise it's better for me to sell a fully completed baby um but i always thought you know hey some of these people have access to rooters and you know it's a cheaper way to just you know get one of my babies and you know they can either enjoy them as ball babies hat babies or just you know, have them rooted later type situation, but I don't know, it just seems like more people just like, they really want hair. I guess mostly with, um, especially with, you know, biracial African American babies are born with quite a bit of hair. Every now and then we have, you know, some bald babies being born. I've, we've had like maybe three or four in our family and I have a huge family, so that's really nothing. Um, that was born with really no hair. <laughs> baby, baby, fine hair, like barely any hair there. Um, some didn't get hair until they was like two years old or three years old. Um, those were the ones that had like the most hair in the end though. 
usually if a black baby is born with hardly no hair they end up having like tons of hair later i don't know what the science is behind that um but in any case um i i got her these cute little pjs i thought they were so cute <laughs> and i got her these pjs in different in a different color as well um you know i keep pjs on a lot so i figure my my babies probably that's probably why i keep my babies on pjs a lot but also with my real children when they were little i kept them in like comfort colors i didn't really dress my babies up um unless they were really going somewhere it was a, an event or they was taking photos um and to be honest I don't really have studio photos of my children growing up other than like their school pictures. Most of my photos of my children are actually around the house photos, outside parties, birthday parties, you know, family functions like that. Because I feel like for me, those were more valuable than them going and be all dressed up, looking fake, sitting in a photo and all frilled up when that wasn't their day-to-day -day life. Um, I have pictures of my children with their hair a mess. I have pictures of my children like drinking, like the, the bigger kids drinking out of the younger kid bottle. Like silly stuff that, you know, it triggers an emotion and a memory for me. Like when I look at the pictures, I'm like, oh, I remember this because this, this, that, and the other was going on. Or like their dad, you know, in the kitchen, with balloons in his chest like he got boobs and he got the baby sitting and he got like a belly or something and he got one of them sitting on the belly or something like that you know those those are memories um I remember oh that's her first birthday party and stuff and you know it's just stuff like that um that you know triggers memories but anyway um so yeah this this baby um, is probably my toddler. I do pick up Zora quite often. I, I do love Zora. I don't know. It's something about Zora's weight. And I just, I do love Zora. But for me, um, if I had to choose, like, the body styles and the babies that are big babies, because I'm a more of a newborn collector, a baby collector, when it comes to the the cuddle factor and the ones that I interact with the most, those are the ones that I want to like pick up and stuff like that and hold. But I will say the Ping Lao babies are so cuddly and so they make you want to hold them. Like I really enjoy holding Taraji. Like um, Taraji is the one toddler that I would take with me out. If I was one that likes to take babies out, um, I would just, I would really take them out. I really, really love them having this, this flexibility here. Like, it's just so cool because, like, she could just sit here and just pose. One thing I will say about the Mealy Sculpt, though, that's been kind of crazy. And it's, it's funny, but not funny um, because it happened to me. But I was able to rectify the situation. Um, is that so many Mealy's got the wrong arms right now. <laughs> they were sent out wrong in the kits. So a lot of the Mealy's have really short arms. Or you know. One short arm and one long arm. Because people didn't notice that that wasn't the original arms. Because that's what came in the kit thing. And I look at those and I'm like, man, I, it, you know, it's heartbreaking when you put all that work into them. Because I have to repaint her arms and try to blend them with, you know, the rest of her body. And that was a lot for me because I don't, I don't save my colors or anything. So I didn't, I didn't think I could do it actually. Well, I actually had to do one arm. Sorry. I, yeah, I only had to paint one arm the other arm was right so i forget which one this one was wrong this is the one i went back in and painted and this was not 
And for me, the hardest part was, you know, when I paint something for a second time, a lot of times I like to, you know, improve it or do something more or different than what I did before. So naturally, I began to like put more mottling and stuff, like wanted to do more veining and all that stuff into her um, or veining and stuff in her because I hadn't did it in the original one as much. And um, that was one thing I had to really stop myself on because I was, it would have not matched. So I have to keep looking at Joey because he's standing up, but he doesn't have on like his real support shoes and I don't want him to fall. <laughs> I should sit him down, but he's doing pretty good. <laughs> so yeah, so this, this is, this is it guys. Like this is my love bug. Um, I love this baby so much that I could have like multiple of them. I just hate painting them. <laughs> I hate painting toddlers and I hate painting the German vinyl. Um, I got used to it and I, I will paint them, but I was just like, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. So I, I am going to add more toddlers to my collection, but it will be slow and waves back. I love sitting them around like this little corner over here has been like my magic corner. Um, so what happened was I had to take my crib, one of the cribs out and I took it downstairs in a guest bedroom because when my daughter Tabitha came over to stay um, when she was close to delivering and then after she had the baby, um, we I had to have a crib down there so that she she couldn't come up and downstairs just had a baby so I, I I broke down the crib and took it downstairs and set it up downstairs and I decided to leave it down there because you know being a grandmother grandbabies are going to be coming over and if we're downstairs doing things and they fall asleep and I'm still down there cooking and cleaning or doing other things which I mostly am if I'm not working upstairs then I would love to be able to lay them, just lay them in a crib, you know, versus laying them on the bed, worrying about them rolling off, falling off, you know. So even Audrey at almost two, she still can be in a crib when she's going to sleep. The problem with Audrey is, is that unless I lower it all the way down to the bottom, I have to make sure that when she wakes up, I'm there because she could flip over. Not safe. Anyway, that has nothing to do with us and the dolls, but... Um, so I had to move the crib away and I, it gave me more space in here and I actually have been enjoying it. And but then I was like, what am I going to do with the babies that I used to pile up in the crib? So I made this little cozy corner over here and I'm going to probably get like a play mat or something to go over there because I really decided that I like it. I, I really like it. I put the little babies, the toddlers over there and usually, you know, one of the little babies are in the basket and since Zuri, that's actually Zuri's basket that came with her from her artist. Um, I think Zuri should get to sleep in her own basket. So I finally moved the other babies out of her basket and put her back in her basket. She had been in my room for a while, but she's she's been over there. So um, when I one day be able to do a tour, you guys will see how I've changed things around. I changed, you know, a lot of different things as I'm trying to make my collection smaller but it's not going to work out i'm going to end up with just as many babies i think eventually if i keep painting for myself so um i have so many exciting projects guys it you know it, i love to share and talk to you guys about everything but some stuff like i said it just seemed more beneficial for me to just shut my mouth and just show it when I'm done because I, I back out of stuff a lot of times but I'm so excited about some of the things that I have coming my way and um, I'm just excited um, it felt really good to complete at least one thing which was winter and I've really been enjoying winter um, I've, I did love her before but I guess I started getting frustrated when she was just bald and I just kind of lost interest a little bit in her but then after I finally finished her rooting and then I you know now it's like that that feeling came back 
Um, but you know, like I said, I never know with me. I will sell at the drop of a hat. Um, I've bought some kits, um, and some of them I'm not just, I'm not totally in love with. But I'm not going to say much yet. I'm going to try to paint them and see how they look after they're painted. Um, I've been looking and seeing different, you know, kits in the forums and I'm like, hmm, I like that face. I want to try and see what it looked like in person. And so I ordered a few and of different ones and it is some of them I like and some of them I'm like, uh, yeah. So, um, I don't know. And, uh, I'm actually, you know, I got my cuddle baby um that has no head that's still sitting there you guys know i got grumpy the cuddle head i actually have the cuddle head to grumpy and i really really want to get to painting that one so um i know i said that i might open up customs and stuff like that this year and the year is, is still we're still in the first month so a lot can change and go up and down um as the year go on but you know, I've worked on a few customs towards the end of the year and at the start of this year, I'll be finishing them off and I'm going to take a break. Um, and that's what I like to do. I, you know, do a few and then just do me for a while. And then if I feel up to it, I'll take another one here or there. Um, but right now I'm going to take a break after that. And I've, I've enjoyed, I have been enjoying working on these customs that I had customers was great um just i just want to work on some other projects that you know i just want to try some stuff in my and see what i can do with some other things and um also i am going to be working on some house projects so that is going to be something i'll be doing that i probably won't record because that's not this is not the channel for that and every time I think about starting a new channel, it just never works out. Um, I guess it's just something about starting from scratch again. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's kind of scary for me. Um, but, you know, one day, one day, I think I will start just a whole channel that's not associated to the doll world at all. And, um, you know, but I guess sometimes I, I think I have these brainy ideas and I have things that I would love to record and do, but then I don't really have much of a life for like just regular vlogs <sighs> and some of the stuff that I would like to talk about. I don't know if, I don't know. Anyway, I've gotten sleepy because that's what holding my dolls do for me. Um, holding the dolls, interacting with my dolls, making videos is very calming and soothing for me. And, and now I'm sleepy. <laughs> so there goes for the ones that say this, is, this hobby isn't therapeutic because I promise y'all every time I get up and I make videos, I get sleepy. But anyway, so um, with Taraji, I actually weighted her legs completely like I would have if she was just a regular baby. Then she just have, you know, just straight polyfill in this part, but her actual legs are weighted solid pretty much. Um... And then her arms are weighted a little bit, but not too, too heavy, but they do have weight to them. And she doesn't have any weight other than polyfill in her head. And I think her bum bum is weighted. So she just, her weight just falls like a real baby her size or a little girl her size, I think. Uh, I would sit you here, but then you're gonna cover up your brother. Ooh, you blocked him out. He's gonna be mad. He might pinch you. 
<laughs> so there's no way that this baby can look at her little back. That's her little back. There is no way that um that this baby can stand without armatures because of this part is soft. And you know, people ask me that all the time, like, well, can you like stand them even if they don't have armatures? You can't. You can't. They need armatures. They have to have some firm support. Oh, Shuka. But she's just so cuddly and so sweet. They <sighs> Who wouldn't love this baby? Oh my gosh. Like I I see why people love the bigger babies. Like, oh my gosh. And I see why people love peeing wild kids. I wish I want another one, but I don't want to paint it. <laughs> and then I don't want to pay for another one to be painted. So mm, there you go, sweetie. Oh my gosh, I just love her so much. Um all right, that is it, guys. Later. Oh, Joy, do not fall, okay? Wait, I'll tell y'all what.